Hello everybody, uh, today we're going to unclog a kitchen sink. It is clogged, the water comes from one side to another and behind this wall there is another kitchen so it's back to back kitchens. So let's run some water first to see what's going on. So as you can see, the water is coming out here from this one to that one. So obviously the uh, the waste, the drain is clogged. So let me show you down here. Okay, so those are my two sinks. The water that the wire is going from here from here to there and of course there's no outlet so and the other kitchen it's fine so the problem is just local here uh, but we're gonna drain uh, rod the drain going down for both things and I'm gonna show you how okay so now we know that there's water there so it's gonna be water on the pipes so we have a bucket to collect the water I have a drill, a Milwaukee drill, 12 volt so I'm gonna catch the water with this bucket and this is the rotting machine I'm gonna use today this is like $40 at Home Depot and it's good for the tub, the sink, the kitchen sink it's great for small drains from uh, one inch to two inches so this is great it lasts uh, I mean I'm in the maintenance business and you know I could use it 30 times before I need another one but it's $40 so if you do the math very inexpensive and I'm gonna use this drill that this attaches it attaches here with my drill Actually, this one you could use by hand, but you remove the, the handle and then install your drill. So, there you go. This is a good price for this and it lasts forever. And when it's all done, the, wire, the cable is mended, you just buy another one. $40, if you're in this business, is worth it. Okay, so we have my gloves, paper towels. Use the blue ones, they're very strong very absorbent and then rags so um, remember there's water here so let's start by um, undoing this knot you go counterclockwise and water is going to start coming out a little bit so don't remove it all quite yet You do the other knot and just be careful. So I just find the clog. I don't know what's that. <laughs> I'll show you later but since we are here I'm gonna show you how to rod the line going inside so we're gonna remove this arm so undo this knot and then just pull out so now we're gonna remove this which is inch and a half BBC male adapter because we want our rotting to go down so let's remove it so for that we need uh, channel locks put a 
pocket under just in case something's come out of there. And it's not bad. Let's see if that's the clock. I don't know what's that. It was solid. So now we're going to use our drill with a rod cable so it's bended at the tip because we want it to go down remember there's another sink on the other side if we just go straight it will go to the other sink and you don't want that you want it to uh, go to the pipe going down So hopefully you see that. So now, and it has to go down. Okay, it's going down. Okay, it's going to the side and then down, which is good. That's what we want. Okay, so now we we know that we're going down, so now we're gonna go on forward and we're gonna press this. By pressing this and the drill going clockwise is gonna, this is gonna introduce our cable. And you have to make sure that there's not slack here because if there's slack, it's gonna wind on itself and then it's not good. So now as the drill is going forward, by pressing this, it's feeding the cable and this is uh, 25 feet, so I'm going to go all 25 feet. a click that's telling me that 25 feet went in so now we're gonna go on the drill go reverse and then let's pull our cable out See how the cable is returning all black and nasty? That's because the clock was there. I'm gonna put paper towels at the bottom. So when I pull my cable out, it catches all the nasty stuff, hopefully. Okay, so it didn't pull anything out, but it usually pushes it out because there's no hair in kitchen sinks. It's more like grease and stuff. So hopefully it opened up a hole into the grease and pushed it. And now when we use the water, hopefully it pushes it out, but we're gonna put our pipe back and see what happened. Okay, now we're gonna put it back as we removed it. This inch and a half male adapter is going into the inch and a half. This female adapter is going into the male adapter. Okay, so we want it tight. So it went all the way up. 
Now we're gonna do our P-trap. This is our extension arm. This is the extension tail piece. And remember, everything has a nut and a washer. So you have to have a washer. If there's not a washer there, it's gonna leak. So this is the extension tail piece. Then the other part of the P-trap. You have to do all the nuts you removed. If you're a strong man, you don't need pliers. You don't need the channel locks for these. But if you don't think you are strong enough, you could use the channel locks just to give it a quarter turn or less. And make sure all of them even you, you, even though you didn't touch all the fittings, you have to make sure they're not leaking and they're tight. So now we're gonna turn our water back on. And before it took four seconds and the water was coming back from here so now we know that at least we clear that section but now we're gonna look at this and make sure it's not leaking anywhere It seems like it's leaking. I'm gonna fill up with the strainer. So it builds up the pressure. And then now that we have some water we're going to release so there's no pressure coming down the drain. And no leaks, everything looks like it's working fine. Thanks for watching, see you next video. So this is the power spin I use. It's metal and you can put your drill here too. It's 25 feet. It's $40. Or you can use one that is $29, but it's just manual. You can put your drill. But I strongly suggest this if you're gonna use it a few times. Or if you work doing this.